Hi, I'm David Brannon, founder and managing lawyer here at Resolute Legal. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how do contingency fee agreements work in disability claims. After watching this video, you'll have a better sense of how these things work and you can evaluate whether you wanna get involved in one of these types of fee agreements for your case. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave us some, leave us some comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll get these videos. We're, sent, we're doing them a few times a week. So if you're considering hiring a lawyer, you're probably wondering what's the deal with these contingency fee agreements and how do they work? So they are a way of hiring a lawyer for a case when you basically have no money up front to pay the lawyer or you're not gonna be able to afford to pay the lawyer as the case goes along. Contingency fee agreements have this idea that you're able to access a lawyer to represent you and that lawyer is only gonna be paid if there's a successful outcome of the case. So that means you and the lawyer are in it together. If the lawyer wins the case and you get money, then the lawyer also gets paid. If the lawyer represents you and you don't get any money, then the lawyer doesn't get paid. So it really aligns the interest between the lawyer and the client and puts a lot of pressure on the lawyer to make sure they achieve a successful result. That's for the legal fees. The, the other part of these things that is often not considered by people is the who's gonna pay the expenses of the case because lawyer, the contingency fees always have the lawyer's fees for their time and for the work done to be contingent. But sometimes the who pays the disbursements, the case expenses is not contingent on success. So in some situations, the lawyer is gonna have you be, you, you're gonna have to agree to be the one to pay these expenses, things like court filing fees, medical report fees, uh, charges if you're trying to get documents and things like that. These things can add up. and. You know, some simple cases, you're looking at hundreds of dollars and more complex cases that are going to go to trial. You can be into the, easily into the tens of thousands of dollars. OK, so just keep in mind, there's a lot of money uh, that has to be paid to run a case properly to, to maximize your chances of success. So you're going to want to know who is responsible for paying these as the case goes along. And if the case is lost, do you still have to pay these back to the lawyer? Is the lawyer going to be the one to lose the money? Very important to know that fact. So the final point I want to make is no matter what uh, the percentages are that you're being charged for this contingency fee, and it's usually based on a percentage of the money collected, the percentages can vary depending on the case, depending on the lawyer, but no matter what the percentage, the legal regulations in every province require that regardless of the percentage, lawyers can only charge you a fee that is fair and reasonable as defined by the legal regulators, okay? So they set out criteria on what, what, what the factors that go into deciding if a fee is fair and reasonable. And so you should expect in some situations that lawyers will have to reduce the percentage at the end of the day if it turns out that that's necessary to get a fair and reasonable fee. Now it doesn't work the other way. The lawyers cannot increase the percentage if that is needed to get a fair and reasonable fee because uh, trust me i've had cases where our the the amount of money we got based on the percentage was way less than what would be a fair and reasonable fee but that's the lawyer's risk that they take in these cases so you should expect that that can happen now not all lawyers will talk to you about this up front so you need to educate yourself about it and it's important to know like at resolute legal we offer something called a fair fee guarantee and what that means is if you are involved in a contingency fee agreement with us that we, at the end of the day, if necessary, will reduce the percentage to make sure the fee is fair. And whether actually, whether we reduce it or not, if you get a bill from us and you're not sure that it's fair, you don't feel right about it, our fair fee guarantee means we will facilitate the process to have the court review our fee. Now, we won't leave that to you to try to figure out, and it's a stressful thing. Uh, all you have to do is just say, look, I, I would like to have this reviewed, no questions asked, we just, we do the review process, right? That way, a third party, the court officer will review our fee, and trust me, they will reduce it if they feel like it's not fair. We strive to make sure that that never happens because we reassess it and make sure that the fee we charge is fair up front. So we would hope uh, and expect that in most cases, the fee would not be reduced, but if it is, then we have to live by it, and we, you would pay the fee that is deemed fair by the court officer. That gives you a sense around what, to think about with uh, how these contingency fee agreements work. They're different from firm to firm in terms of the structure of them, in terms of the percentages. Uh, the, the general idea is though, is that the lawyer's not gonna be paid unless there's a successful outcome. Although there are, I, I didn't mention, there are some hybrid agreements where maybe a small amount or a, a lesser amount is paid up front, win or lose, and then the rest of the payment would be based on a contingency, that certainly can happen. But in any event, a uh, bulk of the lawyer's fee is gonna be tied up in this idea that only paid if they win. 
you got to be clear on who's paying the case expenses as the case goes along. You are the lawyer and who takes the risk of losing that money if the case goes south. Now, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button, leave us some comments, and don't forget to subscribe as we got these videos coming out a few times a week and we want you to be on top of things. Good luck with, with your case and with finding a lawyer possibly, and we look forward to speaking with you next time.